Now I'm going to do the same sort of video looking at the magnetic forces on two parallel current carrying wires but where the currents are moving in opposite directions. And again we want to use the right hand rule and since the current is going in that direction the magnetic field for the top wire would wrap around this way coming out, going around, and going back in. So that would be in that direction. The other current though is now going in the opposite direction which means I have to have my fingers wrap the other direction and it's going to have a magnetic field that goes like this. Now again what I care most about is what's happening at the wire due not to its own magnetic field but due to the opposite magnetic field. So in this case I've got a magnetic field going in on the bottom wire and I also have a magnetic field going in on the top wire. So now I'm going to do these one at a time and look at the right hand rule. So for this bottom wire the current is going towards the left the magnetic field is going in and again I gotta get my body sort of twisted around here that means the force would actually go downwards on that one and if I flip it around and have my magnetic field for this bottom wire it's going to go in on the top and out on the bottom and that means here I've got the magnetic field here the force is in excuse me the magnetic field is in the current is to the right which means the force is up so if the two wires have currents moving in opposite directions the magnetic force pushes the wires apart as opposed to where I had two, mag two currents moving in the same direction and the forces pulled them together. 